and Bob McClure, the Rainsman. Two-year-old trotters set for a start. And they're off. Quick beginning on the far outside. Cali Palima is fired up early for Filion, who sends this one hustling out from post nine. Cali Palima off stride. In a bid for the lead, beta break though, got a little bit sloppy gated. Down the center going for that lead is where we whisper. In at the rail is Magical Muscle Man. Outside from in third is Macho Martini, who's going to drive on up to grab the lead here, it appears, from a clue early. Backed off into fourth goes Locatelli Racing, fifth inside to Jula Muscle Pack, six to the rail. There's Black Tie Bash, tracked by Fathers Corby, who put in some steps there, just exiting that first turn. Then it's full of muscles, and Cali Palima has reset after that cost. Costly miscue leaving. 29-1, tepid first quarter speed for race leader Macho Martini, who's into the backstretch. Back into the pocket spot four, where are we whisper. The rail third belongs to Magical Muscle Man. Jingra opts to pull first up fourth here with Locatelli. Picking up the cover from in fifth is Jula Muscle Pack. Field at the midway point, 58-4. The second quarter trotted 29-3. Going into the final turn, leader continues to be Macho Martini. Locatelli rated first over second outside Pocket sitting from in third is where we whisper. Advancing up on cover, Jula Muscle Pack into fourth now. Fifth inside to Magical Muscle Man. Sweeping up sixth out there, full of muscles. Further back towards the rail is Father Corby. Then driving goes Black Tie Bash from back in eighth. Three quarters of a mile, and they're trotting by that post in 126 and four. 28 second, third quarter speed into the stretch. Macho Martini leads the way, two lengths in front. Locatelli dropped in for some brief cover from in second. Jingra's going to tip him back out and driving, but he's going to need some help as McClure sneaks a peek in the rearview mirror and Macho Martini is opening up again. It is all Macho Martini. He's clear by three. They're not going to touch him again. He's wrapped up again. Macho Martini by two lengths. Second down the center war, we whisper. Coming through with good late pop in third was Magical Muscle Man. Tight for the balance of the positions. The mile, 156. Again, owned by Determination of Montreal, Quebec. Trainer Luke Play, winning driver Bob McClure. Seven starts, seven wins now. The second William Wellwood Memorial winner, of course, is Macho Martini, making it seven for seven. He just continues to dazzle and continues to impress. What type of a pleasure is it to drive a, a colt like this? Oh, it's it's unbelievable. I was saying to Jonathan Dury pulling up, I said, this, this heck, I might as well not even be here. <laughs> you know, he's... He's just so so handy, so nice, so good gait, so smart, you know, and and he's got a lot of character. Like he's, he's he screws around the whole post parade and probably scares the betters. But then as soon as he turns the gate, he's just so professional. And uh, I mean, I sit here like you said, seven for seven. I'm just repeating myself at this point. But uh, no, he's very special, and I'm just very fortunate to be a part of it. He always looks so good, especially being a wrapped up winner. And most of his recent looks like he can win by as many as you want. That's such a luxury, of course. And I mean, such a pleasure to drive him, I can imagine. Yeah, for sure. And like, it's just like you said, uh, there hasn't been a race where I, I had to go to the well on him yet. So that's, you know, because he's got a busy year stake wise. You know, you want, especially when he's winning, you want to be in them. There's a lot of money. And so it's definitely a big help when he can get the respect, respect on the track, get some easy fractions and, uh, you know, doesn't have to go to the well to do it. And of course, in these, the winner of the limbs get to choose their post position. How important is that for you, especially with these trotters? You know, you, of course, don't want to get stuck on the outside. How important is winning these eliminations to secure a good post? Well, it's very important, especially having the trailer in these races. Nobody wants a trailer in a final. And uh, as much the trailer, I would say the rail. You know, if, uh, if I didn't get a draw, I would absolutely prefer the outside flow to the inside flow if you've got a favorite. So... You know, it's it's big to eliminate the inside posts and the rail, so uh, it is it is a nice luxury to have. Once again, thanks so much, and congrats on that victory. Thank you. Once again, Macho Martini winning second elimination in a 156 time.